life today is nothing like what it used to be. What well, used to be a loving and caring and supportive community has turned into a try to prove me wrong, prove me right, tit for tat, ego, and all types of stuff. And the truth about the reality with dating or even just friends, in my experience, it seems like it's more so about what you bring to the table. What type of qualities do you have as far as what do you do? How much money do you make? Or where do you live? Or things like that that are more so characteristics about a person. And it's not really so much about being there for someone and caring for this person and trying to really understand who this person is. And I feel like life has really become this way. Things have just really What I will say is that my life has tr tr changed tremendously on so many levels. And one day, I really do hope to live the life that I want. The, you know, having supportive people around me, just living a very 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 productive life and being able to literally just wake up every morning and be excited to work work on what i love and get paid for that thing and come home to a beautiful woman and kids that's the goal for me i can't speak for all the other men but that everything that I am doing, I'm getting up every morning at 5 a.m. I take a cold shower. I'm doing things that I believe is going to make me into a stronger person because there is a certain type of person that I need to become before I can be able to handle having this wonderful life that I want, right? And that is what I hope for. That's the life that I'm aiming for. And I know there's some people that's going to probably, you know, look at me and like I'm crazy because I have my own path. I have my own goals that I want to pursue. The goals that I want to pursue out of life, the things that I want, is much different from majority of people. And if you're watching this video, you can probably relate to this. You probably, you know, you have family, you have friends, and majority of your family, majority of your friends, they're not on the exact same path that you were on. So they are not able to really understand who you are and understand what you want out of life. So the people that you are around, they can't help you the way that they want to help you. They can't, they're unable to help you. Even though they may want to help you, they may love you, they don't know how to love you correctly. I was in a very, very, very toxic relationship like two years ago. And uh, 
This relationship really drained me and took a lot out of me to the point where if I have any other similar altercations or instances where that like kind of reminds me of the trauma that happened that took place in this relationship it does a significant amount of damage and it's very painful to be reminded of that but I have the future, I have hopes and, that I'm looking towards and things that I'm working towards. So hopefully this doesn't affect me, right? That much. In that relationship, we didn't know how to love each other correctly because we weren't loved correctly when we were growing up with our families we didn't know how to love each other correctly we didn't understand each other and i'm so grateful that we're not i'm not in that relationship anymore and not that i'm trying to bash her or you know what i'm saying talk down talk dirty about you know what i'm saying about her or what she did but if we would have went further and we would have had children together, their lives would have been awful. They wouldn't have been able to stand their lives because their parents would be arguing 24-7, bickering back and forth about dumb, just, just, just crazy, you know, just stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that is when a child's parents aren't in their life, and they're not really providing, which is what I'm, I currently have had to go through. When a parent's not in your life and you know they're not there like they wanna be, it really takes a toll on that person. So when I have children, I don't wanna do that to my children. I want to provide them with a loving, supportive environment i want them to feel comfortable feel like they can talk to me about anything and of course i'm working to become a leader you know what i'm saying i want to become this figure this this person that you can look up to you know what i'm saying and i really know who i want to be but i know the person that i want to be but I would be a lie if I sat here and I told you I didn't ever have negative thoughts. I didn't ever have doubts. I didn't ever want to give up or that I just wanted to just quit. And I question, is this journey even worth it? Is my existence, is my life even worth it? I've had a, a, those thoughts. I've had those thoughts tremendously. And I'm sure everyone gets them. You know, you you know, you're constantly gonna have thoughts that that you're gonna be provoked and your trauma is gonna come back up and you're gonna have these doubts. Whenever you have a situation happen or something that invokes your emotions, you're gonna be questioning this journey. You're gonna be asking God, like, am I even supposed to be on this earth? Am I, why, why am I on this path? Because to be on this path that you're on, there's these things that you want out of life, it really requires effort. It requires discipline. It requires hard work. It requires a mindset that you must have in order to get through it. And, and, and this is something that I never really thought about, but when I was thinking about, because I see myself as a strong person, but I wanna become stronger. I wanna become like super mentally tough, very mentally tough. Like like I, eat, I can eat a bowl of nails for breakfast type tough. And I want that. And this is why I'm going on this journey. This is why I'm, just trying my best to 
stick with the routine that I have and just go on this journey and keep moving and keep moving. And the crazy part about it is that you're trying to get, I'm trying to get to this end point. And then I say, oh, I'm mentally tough now because I got through it, right? But it takes mental toughness to get through it. So as you're going through the journey, you're building that mental toughness by 0.1% every single day that you are on your journey. You are building that toughness. And negative thoughts, negative feelings will most definitely, without a doubt, arise. And they will make you question everything. They'll make you question life, question if you're even meant to be on the journey that you're on. So I came to the conclusion that if I truly want what I want out of life, if I want this wholesome lifestyle, then there are some things that are required of me. There are sacrifices that I must make if I want to be successful in what I do. There are sacrifices that I I have got to make. Because if I do not make these sacrifices, I sacrifice my success. I sacrifice my well-being. I sacrifice my mental health. I was actually meditating earlier this morning. And I've been very sleep deprived lately because I've had this 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 bad this toxic this, this bad habit of not going to bed on time so I can get good sleep. I went to bed at like 12 a.m. and I tried to get up at 5. And I got up at 5. I woke right up at 5 a.m. I didn't even have an alarm set. But long story short. So fast forward, it's like 9, 9.30 or something like that. And I'm literally meditating. And I'm following my breath. And stuff. I'm getting better at it. And and what, what next thing I notice is that I'm literally it's like I'm in this dream like state. It's like I'm having a dream while I'm meditating. Has anyone ever experienced that? Because that is that is insane. I don't know if I literally kind of fell asleep while I was meditating or or if I'm just deep in thought or I'm having some type of mini daydream type ordeal or something like that. So, yeah, I think that with the right habits and the right doing the right things, I feel like anybody can really change their life and you have to make sacrifices. You have to limit the people that you are around. You can't be around people who don't believe in you or who don't support you. You can't be around people who don't understand you, people who belittle you. You can't be around that type of energy. Life is not easy. It's not easy for anyone, but I always say that maybe it's not supposed to be easy. I don't think life is supposed to be easy. Life is always going to be filled with challenges and, and hurdles that you must overcome and that's what life is all about because you get to the end point which is death and instead of being afraid to die you are relieved because you have completed you fulfilled your purpose and your and you were and God no no longer needs you on this earth. And this may sound spiritual and stuff like that, because you know, a lot of people start to, you know, they start meditating and, and becoming more spiritual 
And and this has happened with me a little bit too, where I, I, I it's like I'm disconnected with my identity. I'm, I don't really feel like I'm me. I, I'm just kind of like all, you know, my skin color and my, you know, my height and my weight, and, you know, all the physical aspects of this world, this 3D world, think, these things don't exist in spirituality. They don't exist. It doesn't really matter how much money you made or or how productive you were. You know what I'm saying? And when you begin to start disconnecting from that stuff, and you kind of just you you kind of just realize that you are consciousness. That's it. Your consciousness. The only thing that exists is what is right in front of you, right? Like it's what you are looking at this video right now that is the only thing that exists what you are looking at right now the past the future it does not exist that's how it is with animals also they don't think about the future and past and stuff or whatever you know and a lot of people start to realize that this life is pointless it like what is the like what's the point of any of this so there's some deep questions that we must ask ourselves and try to understand and stuff like that because I think even in that sense where you don't really see a point of life, you don't see a point of living life or you know you, you know you don't because you you know it's all going to end anyway. I think there's something you still can pursue that gives you fulfillment. And that's why I have such a problem with the people who uh, who are against that. The fact that if you want to go follow your passion or do something that you love with your life, that's why I'm against that type of that, 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 that way of thinking, because you are only here for a certain amount of time. You don't have all the time in the world. So, and people want to be cool and say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm being masculine. I, you gotta do what you gotta do. People think that sounds cool or whatever, but truth is you only have one life. You literally only live one life. So are you going to waste that life living miserable and not doing what you love, doing something that you hate? Or are you going to do something that you love with the caveat that you will struggle? You will struggle. It will not be easy to do what you love. That is the truth. But if you are doing something that you love and that keeps you on this earth, that makes you smile, that inspires you to wake up every morning, the struggle, I think the struggle is definitely worth it because i have no respect for someone who has dreams they want to do things with their life and they don't do it instead they go work some crappy nine to five job for the rest of their life and they know that they hate it that that is is awful and some people are gonna say yeah i gotta provide and you know, you know and fair enough but you're single you don't you're not married you don't any of that you you're 18 19 20 you can literally create the life that you want for yourself you can have anything in this world that you want the world is yours even for people with families and married people and all of that it doesn't matter who it doesn't matter how old you are it's never too late the world is yours. Always remember that. And by the way, my name is Raheem the Goat. And if you found this video insightful, motivating, inspiring, make sure. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And never give up. Your younger self is rooting for you. Peace.